Hi, my name's Dave, Dave Williams, and I've been a member at First Lubbock now for getting on for five years. I started in England, and uh, in getting here I'd worked for Conoco Phillips for 34 years. During that period I'd had a, uh, what I thought was a very successful career. Uh, came to the United States and discovered the American dream. That was probably what defined me as a person. One aspect of my coming to the United States, which I never expected, was I became a, a follower of Jesus Christ in Lake Charles, Louisiana. But then the day came when Conoco Phillips were downsizing, and so I took a package and was quite content with that after 34 years of work. It wasn't too long after that that, uh, that I started to have an identity crisis. And all the things that define me, like being an engineer, being relatively wealthy, cars and the rest of it, uh, didn't really start counting for much. During that period, I tried to self-medicate with alcohol, which I wouldn't recommend, and uh, slowly drifted away from God and all the things that I really needed. Uh, my wife had stood by me. She offered me as strength as she could, but uh, you know, a human can only do so much for you. When I got to Lubbock, I think I finally broke. Those days of darkness really start to get dark. And uh, I really didn't know which way to turn. And I felt isolated and, and alone. I didn't know it at the time, but uh, God was using me during that period to learn how to be able to go back, I think, and, and help those people I'd seen in those shelters uh, in terms of helping them learn that, uh, that, that Christ is really the message and that uh, loving care and attention uh, is deserved by everybody. Fortune had it, I got sick twice and, and went in the Covenant Hospital for, uh, for medical treatment. And while I was there, I definitely had my equivalent of a burning bush experience. And it really came from just watching all these wonderful caregivers there, just doing what they were trained to do, but doing it in a loving care and attention and doing it in a dedicated well, way to all those folks. I uh, got back on my feet and uh, took advantage of some of the 12-step programs here in Lubbock. They're a good way of uh, getting yourself refocused, but I've come to find out that there's a lot more to life than, than just staying sober. I wasn't to know that most of that life was going to come from First Lubbock and it was going to come from Covenant Hospital. One particular term that I always hear weekly here and that I love and I've become really dedicated to is being on mission where our feet are. That was a difference before and after. I've been able to get some guidance and coaching from both, uh, from both Ken and Bobby and uh, also my Sunday school classes and the sermons and that really has helped me feel strong enough uh, to do what I do. A lot of the dark times in my life could well have been a thorn in my side and, and were indeed for a while. They were, they were adding to depression and uh, and anxiety and things, but come to find out that the thought in my society has become my greatest asset. And being able to share that pain with other people is probably one of the greatest gifts that I have. And I know that I can't keep it for myself. And uh, I'm uh, so, so blessed that I've been graced with, with those issues.